नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहिए अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल मैं सर जेडीएम डॉक्टर रवि जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन एट फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी चेन्नई इन टुडेस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द जनरल फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन वाइल परफॉर्मिंग the respiratory system examination generally as a whole on physical examination means we are examining the body of the patient so what are the different steps or what are the things that are kept into the mind while doing the respiratory examination we need to uh, see in the patient we are going to discuss today so let's start with the respiratory system general physical examination look at this patient what can we assess after looking at this patient on uh, looking at the patient look at the typical facial expression this is a patient of copd that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease look at his lips this is typically a first lip pattern that is a characteristic of copd so after looking at this picture we can say that when such a patient comes to us and uh, we see such a picture then without even asking anything you can reach a diagnosis how does it occur this occurs from the knowledge that we gain while studying a particular disease condition hence general physical examination is very important to understand now what are the steps that are needed to be done while doing general physical examination we need to study it now general assessment should be made by making the patient resting on the bed inclined at an angle of 45 degree and supported by the pillows so whenever you are doing the general assessment of the patient then allow the patient to rest on the bed that is inclined at the position of 45 degrees and supported by a pillow and then after start with the general assessment. now what are the different points that are needed to be checked while doing the general physical examination especially in relation to the respiratory system so first of all you have to look at the general appearance of the patient look at the general appearance the rate and the nature of breathing you have to check for the respiratory rate and you have to check for the nature of breathing there are three types of breathing pattern we have bronchial breathing vascular breathing or the bronco vascular breathing so we have to assess what kind of breathing pattern a particular patient is having then if a particular patient uh, to which we are examining if that patient is having dyspnea that is difficulty in breathing then you have to look for the grade of dyspnea also inspect whether the ala nasal or the accessory muscles of the respiration are working or not because if the accessory muscles are working that means that particular patient is putting too much strain while uh, taking while inspiration or expiration that suggest any kind of respiratory pathology note the form physique and state of nutrition and hydration so you have to check the form of the patient the physique what is the physique of the patient uh, who is coming to you whether the patient is lean and thin or the particular patient is obese also assess the state of nutrition whether the patient is properly nourished undernourished malnourished or overnourished you have to check for the by looking at the particular patient and also you have to see the hydration of the particular patient whether the face is sunken or it is normal and then record the weight of the patient now for respiratory examination whenever a patient is coming to you you should note always note the cuff whether the particular patient is cuffing or not if the patient is cuffing then you also have to note for the long inspiratory whoops whether he is cuffing in a whoop whooping cuff or the character of cuff is loss of expiratory character of cuff where the patient is cuffing without uh, the ability to expect you should also listen to the wheezes wheezes are the musical sound that are heard specially during the expiration 
these are audibly inspiratory means these is can be inspiratory these can be expiratory most commonly we will experience expiratory means but if the wheezes are occurring during inspiration then it suggests that a particular patient is having a uh, lot of distress uh, or there is a very advanced stage of respiratory disease audible inspiratory means due to narrowing of the upper trachea or larynx you have to listen for the spider spider are basically loud noises laryngeal or tracheal obstructions and hoarseness you also have to check for the hoarseness Uh, that is most commonly due to the recurrent laryngeal nerve paralysis. Also, while doing these examination, you should uh, check for any kind of smell in breath, whether there is offensive breath that is known as halitosis or normal breath from the particular patient. Then start examining from head to toe. First of all, examine the face, the mouth, the lips, and tongue for anemia. Look into the eyes for any kind of color. You have to see for the conjunctiva upper and lower. Lid has to be checked for. Also check uh, the mouth. You have to uh, check for the mouth, the lips. You also have to check for the teeth and uh, ask the patient to report the tongue. Look for any sign of anemia or jaundice, polycythemia or central cyanosis. All these things have to be looked for. Examine the eyes. as it is likely to be involved in many respiratory disorders so looking at the eyes is very important then examine the neck you have to examine the neck for the following things look for the excavation of suprasternal and supraclavicular fossa you have to check the suprasternal or supraclavicular fossa and look for the keratoid pulsations look for the jugular venous pressure you also have to see Whether the jugular veins are prominent or not. Look at the jugular for the jugular venous pressure and uh, cervical lymph node pressure. While examining the neck, you should always palpate the lymph nodes uh, of the neck to check for any kind of lymph node pathology if present. Palpate for the examination enlargement of the lymph nodes in supraclavicular fossa, cervical, and axillary regions. You should also examine the lymph nodes at the other Uh, positions which we are going to discuss in the examination of lymph nodes then check for the trachea note the position of the trachea you have to use the three finger method that is used for assessing put your three fingers above the sternum and then check for the position of the trachea note the position the palpable length of the trachea above the suprasternal notch and tracheal tongue this is very important if there is any deviation of the it has to be noted look at the hands and feet for pella that occurs most commonly in anemia redness that occurs in polycythemia or co2 narcosis then look at for the peripheral cyanosis and clubbing of the fingers then examine the feet the feet are examined for fitting edema so you have to from uh, look the patient from head to toe looking at the eyes the mouth the tongue the teeth then you have to look for the neck examination the neck with carotid uh, pulse examination jugular venous pressure you have to check and cervical lymph node pathology then you have to check for the trachea the position of the trachea and then examine the hands and feet of the patient then after look for the vital signs there are four important vital signs that you should examine while doing any kind of examination the vital signs includes number 1 the temperature the temperature should always be assessed most commonly oral temperature is noted down then you have to check for the pulse then blood pressure blood pressure has to be noted down and respiratory rate so these are four important vital signs that are needed to be noted down in each and every case that you are going to examine in the clinical class temperature pulse blood pressure and respiratory then after doing all these things then we have to move down i have already told you the examination of the hands in the hands we should also check for anemia and clubbing of the nails the clubbing of the nails should be done by putting the fingers like this then look for the uh, scar marks if any present on the body and in the feet look for the pv edema any kind of edema if present so in this way general physical examination of a patient is completed today we have uh, discussed this general physical examination especially in relation to the respiratory 
uh, system. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about the various adventitious or the additional sounds in the respiratory system while doing the auscultation. So this session was powered by Digital Version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Pune University. I hope you are satisfied with my digital session. If you have any query, please mention in the coming box and I will try to respond. So this was all about today's lecture uh, regarding the examination, general physical examination of the respiratory system. I believe that you have understood a lot from it and uh, I recommend you to uh, look into the book, the clinical examination chapter, uh, so that you can understand it in a better way. So this was all for today. Thank you very much. We will be meeting in the next lecture.